Typically, we see with our, our low moisture process that uh, the carpets are dry within an hour. This is the Checker Pro Radio Show. Checker Pro Joe has assembled a team of pre-qualified home service contractors to bring you the latest in services, products, and techniques. Now, here's your host, the man with a hard hat and tool belt, Checker Pro Joe. Many of us enjoy the comfort of carpet in our homes. I have a fair amount of wall-to-wall carpeting in my home. I actually just love it, especially when I do things like this. In my home studio, I actually love to have carpet because it reduces the echo. So some people have carpet for a warm, cozy feeling. Some people have it because they want it to be quiet in their home. But you've got to keep the carpet cleaned on a regular basis. One of the biggest complaints that I've heard about from homeowners is it takes too long for that carpet to dry. I have asked an expert, Eric Olson. He's the owner of Safe and Soft Carpet Cleaning in Boise, Idaho. Eric, how are you? I'm great, Joe. How are you? Fantastic. I know you guys just have great passion for what you do. You're a family-owned and operated carpet cleaning business in Boise, Idaho. You're a co-owner of the company. You and your wife own the company. Yes. This question comes up all the time. How long will it take for my carpet to dry? We as homeowners are very impatient, and we have pets and we have children, and we want this to be done as quickly as possible. How long does it take for the carpet to dry when you guys come into the home and thoroughly clean the carpets? Well, that is a great question, but that's a usually a, not the easiest to answer because sometimes it varies. It depends Depends on how dirty the carpet is, depends on what method we use to clean the carpet. Uh, but typically we see with our, our low moisture process that uh, the carpets are dry within an hour. A lot of times when other people uh, run into other or use other carpet cleaners and it takes, you know, four to eight, sometimes 24 hours, 48 hours, you know, a couple of days, it's because the, the cleaner has used uh, too high of a pressure and they just have not recovered enough of the water. It's pushed it down into the pad. And their system is just not able to recover all that water. So a lot of times, as as long as there's good air circulation, sometimes in basements it takes longer, but typically it's dry within an hour, uh, as long as the temperatures are are between 60 and 70 and there's good air circulation. What are the downsides to the carpet taking longer than an hour to dry? So again, another great question. Um, With that, a lot of times it's mold. That would be an issue. Things that wick back up from underneath the carpet. So a lot of times if the carpet's left wet for so long, as it dries, the soils underneath the carpet will sift up or, or wick back up through the carpet fibers. Uh, a lot of times the carpet looks dirtier than it was uh, when it was first cleaned. And again, that's another problem with, with using too much pressure because you're a lot of times they will push the soils farther down into the carpet. And as it dries, those soils will just wick back up. So as long as you have the pressure adjusted correctly and as long as you're using a low moisture process where you're not using as much water, it's going to dry a lot faster. People notice like that kind of musty smell when it takes longer to dry. Again, that's just from the germs and bacteria in the carpet growing in in an environment that that encourages that, right? When you've just got too much water uh, in there as as well as all the other um, stuff that just isn't always properly cleaned out of the carpet. You've got pet dander pet accidents like pet urine, all sorts of, you know, spills and things like that, things that we just track in to the home. It's like when you get a, an air filter wet, because your carpet really is literally your biggest air filter in your home. Uh, it, it has a lot of benefits to it, but but that is one of the largest benefits is it's your biggest air filter in your home. So like we change our HVAC filter about every three months, six months, or, or at least we should, then uh, we, we also need to get the carpets clean uh, often enough in order to get that filter working. And so if you don't clean it out properly and you kind of soak it down, it's just going to have kind of a gnarly smell to it. (laughs) So in short, you guys at Safe and Soft Carpet Cleaning can get the homeowner's carpet cleaned well and dried in about an hour. Yes, we can. So again, it varies depending on the method that we use. If we're using a low moisture method or if we're using a hot water extraction, which most people are accustomed to, Typically, um, 90% of the time when we're using a low moisture method, it is dry within an hour. When we're using a hot water extraction method, it can go from two to three hours. It, we can accelerate that when we're using turbo fans and when the temperatures are between 60 and 70 degrees. Thanks, Eric. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Joe. Checka Pro is your local source for pre-qualified contractors. Stay tuned for more of the Checka Pro radio show.